Hello friends, come on in and pull up a chair. There's room for everyone at Grandma Camp. I'm so glad you came to Grandma Camp with me today. Let's have some fun. The Amish men wear hats like this. If I were Amish, I would not wear this kind of hat because only the men wear this kind of hat. The Amish women wear a different kind of hat. You know, different kinds of religions and cultures often wear hats or head coverings that are different than what you might wear. Maybe you're one of those people who wears a different kind of head covering. Do you think that just because people have a different religion or a different culture, or even if their skin is a different color than ours, we should treat them badly? I don't think so either. Our Amish neighbors are very, very good neighbors. We have Christian neighbors who are very, very good neighbors. We have Muslim neighbors who are very, very good neighbors. All of these people can be very good friends. It's easy to be friends with someone who is just like you. But how great would it be if we would be friends with all of the people? If you got to know somebody who was different than you, you might find out they're not so different from you. Maybe they love to do the same things you love to do. Maybe they really like to eat some of the same foods you like to eat. Maybe they like the same books, or the same movies, or the same games. Isn't it great that we can be friends with so many different kinds of people? It would be very sad if we were mean or rude or unkind to people who look differently than we do or who dress differently than we do. The most important thing to think about is what kind of a friend am I? Do people want to know me? If someone came to get to know me, would they find somebody that they like? Would they find somebody kind? Would they find somebody happy? Would they find somebody fun? Would they find somebody smart? Would they find somebody athletic? Would they find somebody thoughtful? There are so many ways that we can judge people. And just by the way they look is not a good way to judge them. We should try very hard to judge people based on who they are, not on what they wear. And also, we should try very hard to be the kinds of people that when someone gets to know us, they find out we're great. I think you're great. You know, this reminds me of a story. Everybody says, meow. Everybody says, meow, by Constance Lombardo. Welcome to that magical time when everybody says, meow. Ready? Meow. Woof. No, no, no. Everybody does not say woof. Everybody says meow. Got it? Woof. Can you say meow? Woof. Please say meow. Woof. Meow. Woof. New plan. Everybody says meow. One guy says woof. Are we ready? Meow! Woof! Ribbit. 
Did somebody say ribbit? I'm going to close my eyes and count to three. And when I open my eyes, no more ribbit. One, two, ribbit. <sighs> Bummer. Another new plan. Everybody says meow. One says woof. And one says ribbit. Ready? Meow! Woof! Ribbit! Quack! Did you just say quack? Any chance you could say meow? Quack! Is that your final answer? Quack! Okay. Welcome to that magical time when everybody says whatever they want. Meow! 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 Woof! Ribbit! Quack! Roar! Was it something I said? When an artist creates a work of art, they use different tools and they use different media. Media is the way you say medium when you're talking about more than one. Sometimes we use paper as our medium. Sometimes we use crayons or markers as our medium. Sometimes we use pencils and glue and all different kinds of things as our medium. When we use more than one medium, we say it's media. Today we're going to use an art project that has only two media. One is paper and the other is chalk. You can do this project any way you want and you can use any chalk you want. I'm just going to use white chalk but you can use sidewalk chalk or any other kind of chalk you'd like. The fun thing about white chalk is that it shows up on black paper. Usually, if we're doing something colorful, we need to use a lighter color of paper so we can see our medium on the paper. But with chalk, we can do it on a dark medium, and that's fun. This is your project. You can make it look any way you want. I'm going to make snowflakes and I'm going to pretend like it's snowing at night. That is what I plan to do with my media. draw on a blackboard with chalk, it erases off. When we draw on the sidewalk with chalk, it can wash off. But when we draw on a paper with chalk, it's going to stay there. Watch out though, it can smudge. Let's talk about music. Music is one of the things that almost everybody likes. Not everybody likes the same kind of music, but music can bring us joy. Music can be so fun, and we can learn a lot of different things about music. Today, let's talk about the beat in music. If you listen to a song, you will usually find that it has a certain kind of beat. It kind of goes in a kind of pattern. Like if we sing, row, row, row 
row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Listen to the song and see if you can find the beat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now clap. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Did you hear that beat? That is kind of the tick-tock sound or the drum sound that gives us a rhythm in the song. Our words don't always go right on the beat, but almost every time you sing or hear a song, there is a beat and you will be able to find it. We should practice that. Let's see if we can find the beat in another song. Let's try the ABC song. Ready? See if you can hear the beat. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Did you hear that beat? Great job! Here's a fun song. This is a song about frogs. I want to see if you can find the beat this time. Ready to give it a try? Listen carefully. See if I can give you a clue. Ready? Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two little speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Did you find it? We'll do the next verse and see if you can hear it. We'll do it together. Ready? Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's just one little speckled frog. Globe, globe. I bet you found it that time. Thanks for singing with me today and finding the beat. We'll do some other music things in some other grandma camps. I'm so glad you came today. I love having you here. And remember that I love you just as you are. Come again!